Last booze open, lady. Be with you in a minute. Thank you. You'll have to wait a minute, mister. To pull up. Anything that's quick. Uh, chicken salad, no bread. Anything to drink? Tea, coffee, no, milk? No, thank you. Uh, you uh, mind if I join you? Please. I'm awfully sorry. I'd prefer you didn't. Oh. I didn't mean to sound rude. I just thought that if you were alone, well, uh, this is the only empty spot in the place. Empty, except for you, I mean. I'd still prefer you didn't. I only ask because there's really no other place to sit down. Well, I'm, I'm accustomed to sitting. I mean, I prefer to sit alone. Oh, that's all right. I can wait for you to finish your salad. But I don't want to have... I'd have to gulp it with you waiting. No, no, don't do that, please. You just take your time. I can uh, stand. You get used to standing in the army. Well, if you're going to stand there, you might as well sit here. That is, if you're going to stand there. You, uh, sure, sure it's all right? I suppose. You know something? You're lonely. Lonely. I think you're being rather presumptuous. My private life is personal. I'm just stating a fact. You can correct me, I'll stand corrected. But, uh, sitting down. Joke. It's no disgrace to be lonely. Nowadays, everybody's lonely. Look, I'm tired and my feet hurt. That isn't why I'm glad I'm sitting here. I'm glad because you look like somebody I'd like to talk to, to listen to. Really? Mm-hmm. But you know what I see in your face? Fear. Why? Because you don't know me. Now, that sounds reasonable, but, but frankly, that's cockeyed. You shouldn't be afraid of me. Well, I think it's merely a matter of opinion. I think... I don't know what I think. I'm sorry, I'll keep quiet. I, I won't talk anymore if you prefer. I do prefer. Yes? I didn't say anything. But the way you were staring. Uh, no, I, I promised I wouldn't say anything. I better shut up. But you were staring at me. No, not at you, it's your purse. Oh. You're the one that played that song, aren't you? Yes. I like your taste in music. Oh, uh, now about that purse. Purse? Mm-hmm. Well, not exactly the purse itself, but if you were to drop it, no matter which way it came up, you'd always know it was yours. But may I? Up, down. Either way, it's always the same. M, W. Well, is that a reason for staring? Mary Walker. I beg your pardon? Mildred Williams. 
Oh. Am I right? <laughs> no. Well, not Martha Washington. <laughs> No. Millicent Weatherby. Millicent Weatherby. Millie? That's right. Bert Hansen. Formerly Sergeant Hansen of the United States Army. Oh. How do you do? How do you do? Well, what are you gonna have? Um, the same as Miss Weatherby. Uh, quick chicken salad. Right. Except... Now we don't have to go. Do we? No. So? Relax. Am I tense? Mm hmm. Look, you're stuck with me for the duration of that salad. You, you might as well enjoy yourself. Go ahead, talk, say something. Anything. Well, I'm not very good at this kind of well, a casual conversation. <laughs> sure, you are. You haven't stopped talking since I sat down. Are, are you teasing me? Mm hmm. Like I did about your purse. I just want you to relax. Why? So we can talk. You see, people don't realize how important that is. Not just talking, but talking to somebody who listens. And you're the best listener since Matsui Kyoto. Since who? Matsui Kyoto in Tokyo. Twelve-year-old kid used to sell those uh, paper dragon kites. I take it you were with the army in Tokyo. Mm-hmm. Honor Guard headquarters. No battle action, no hero stuff. We never even left Japan. But with what I learned as a supply sergeant, I'm going to do fine in this town. You work in L.A.? Yes, three years now. I like L.A. I'm going to make good here. I'm sure you will. Where are you from? Before the Army? Mm -hmm. Racine, Wisconsin. You ever been to Racine? No. Were you native Californian? No, I'm an immigrant, too, from New England. I have two sisters and a brother back there and their children, but... I can't imagine anyone ever leaving their family if they're lucky enough to have one. I never knew my mother. My father died when I was so high. Hey, let's not depress each other, okay? Okay. <laughs> then there's the other side of it. The fellow sits down next to you you've never seen before. All you know about him is he spent a couple of soft years in Tokyo and kidded you about your monogram purse. Now, all of a sudden, he's trying to show off and pick up the check. And that's the kind of a character you've got a perfect right to be suspicious of. Frankly, I think our relationship will last a lot longer the first time you pick up your own check. Okay?